what's up everyone it's time for another review the other day uh well actually two weeks ago i went to a a kroger and they had studio series scourge now i saved up for the scourge and i came to that kroger it's been there it was not there why Notice something else, though, among that shelf. They included an ex and in time again from now on. For this problem entirely. I can't say that this comes across as cheap, especially since they included an extra piece made out of way more plastic than it would have taken to fix the problem normally. Anyone see my shield piece? I can't transform without my shield piece. Bam! Power! Power! I know all these kingdom uh, packages have come with a trading card. Out of the two kingdom figures I've gotten, which have both been Beast Wars, Primal, and Black Arachnia, I have gotten an Optimus Prime card both times! Definitely not growing old, so this time, of course I had to get Dinobot! Yeah, boy! My fav- probably one of my favorite characters from the Beast era, second- second or third to only maybe Waspinator and Primal. Yeah, peel it off. You get Dinosaur. And the Predacons, and also Air Razors there for some reason, with Scorponok, Black Arachne, and then there's Cheetor for some reason, and then there's my boy Dino, but I don't know what that text reading says, but I'm definitely holding on to this, it's really cool. Taking him out of the box, it was evident that this piece broke off while trying to get him out of the package, I think it goes here. I don't know, watch as that's upside down and it affects the transformation, I have no idea. And, uh, yeah, I have to say, he feels a little... Too painted, ironically? I'm not exactly her sure how to describe it. Uh, kind of doesn't feel like most normal Transformers toys these days does. Like, you got Magnus over here, who's a Season 3 character and a Season 2 character right here. You yeet him back to the side and you have to say, Well, where's the shield piece you complained about so the, in the earlier intro part? It, it's, it's in the back of the box. Even Hasbro wanted to deny the fact that this was a thing. And yet the package was just, I swear, just probably some little kid didn't know about this and is like, Mommy, why isn't my robot tank man not transforming correct? I have to say, I, I thought in person the shield piece wouldn't be so bad. But no, without even transforming it here, this guy seems to be a total train wreck. The, sh the shield feels bad. Really harshly painted, just like the rest of this figure. I don't mind it. It's far from the worst I've ever seen. It's just a little weird to have in the Kingdom line, where we're supposed to have all entirely amazing toys. I only have... This is the first non-Beast Wars character I've... Or, you know, movie character I've had in the since Jetfire review, I think. And, uh, he has a little- you can extend his tank barrel out, you can't really shoot up right now because he's in robot mode. But, uh, yeah, the robot mode pre-transformation is a little, are in uh, the tank mode. It's pretty cute, it's pretty chibi, it's a tank, I like tanks. And, uh, yeah, all I can say is it's pretty cool, panel lines are pretty obvious, and it- this is a pretty stellar tank mode, I have to say, for what you're paying for it. Other than, obviously, like I said before, the paint feeling a little odd. It seems to be very susceptible to chipping, but overall it's a pretty good toy. Oh wait! As you can see, the robot mode kibble is still underneath and it's so hollow right there that I can't get over it. But as you can see, here he is in all his BOW glory, in case you don't understand what I'm doing. This character's trait is that in the middle of his sentences, He'll just say random POW adjectives, so like, he'll be discussing tax finances, and he goes, Yes, I would agree that the uh, tax system in their collect system is very POW! Not very elegant, my dear good, good sir. Good elegant fine sir. I, I hope you realize how elegant this tank alt mode is before I go POW again! Ah. In essence, let's get this tanky boy transformed. Enough of that said, besides his little swiv 
swivelly, thick, I'm, I'm not thick, just really hard to turn. It's not very satisfying uh, turret, and it besides a little flappy gun, which I very much enjoy. And the kibble, there's one major piece that I'm sure you've heard everyone talk about earlier in the video. I'm repeating myself, aren't I? This shield piece. Once you take that off or you lose it, oh boy, that's a lot of panel lines cracking. And generally, just look look at how, against the light, how much panel is coming apart with just the loss of this flimsy little piece of plastic, which probably costs a lot more than the molding team would have accepted. It's ju It's just... Why? The tiny shield piece. You know how easily people will aside aside onto the transformation. Now the first step that I've shown you is take this piece off. Over with the box! Nope. Yeah, this piece here just broke off really easily. You really gotta be gentle with this dude. His joints are really brittle. And while well, tough, they're also not very tough. After the transformation, you get this guy, who I stated earlier is not my favorite figure I have in my collection. All of his joints are either really stupidly loose, as you probably saw during the transformation, all these little bits and pieces came flying off. I am not transforming this man for a very, very long time. His joints are either too brittle or cannot actually move like his joints here just will not move. He has swivel. You can smooth, woo, point out that far, come in that far. You got wrist articulation, although it's stupidly t complex. Not complex, just really sturdy, and sometimes that's a good thing, but why not just make the whole figure sturdy? It, it's supposed to be that way. After all, he is Warpath. In case you can't see Warpath, he's supposed to be tough, durable. Then why are his legs made of the most breakable substance on Earth? It's... It's worse than this. It's not so. It's not as bad as even Prime's trailer, which, as you can see, light shines through it. Is very weak. Not that good. Then again, I have seen worse. It's Mr. Tryhard Z. Forty-eight hours from the in the future from recording that last bit. Uh, so quite a bit has changed my perspective about Warpath. Uh, I've spent the past one and a half days kind of messing with this dude and having a little bit more fun with him I finally figured out how to transform the legs without completely destroying the plastic good to know then he and I'm starting to get a little bit more attached to the shield piece and I'm realizing because of that shield piece and I can put it on this port back here maybe I can buy this again get a head mold for brawl that might be cool if I can't get my hands on a Bruticus but uh I've also heard other complaints of people saying, Oh, he, does, he doesn't come with a weapon accessory, folks. He is the weapon accessory. Ugh! Mr. Tryhard C, are you not paying enough attention to your YouTube career? Do we not more matter more, more to you than your actual life? We are supposed to be your focus of life. Could you be warming up to this figure?
here. You said you hated it in the intro. Other people said you'd hate it. You believe them. You still picked it up anyway to have a plastic representation. So why do you like it now? Timmy, I'll repeat it again, you numbskull. You see, I think time makes all things possible, as Starscream said in the G1 cartoon. You can always warm up to a thing if you... You know, hold it long enough, and I've started to warm up to this figure. Even though there's still some obvious paint mishaps over here, and some joints are still too thick, some they start to wear out over time. It's just the natural playability, and while he still isn't the best playable Transformer I have, he's still okay. He's better than the Transformer Cyberverse Grimlock. Like this. Importantly... It's a deluxe class price. What do you expect? Even though this is Transformers War for Siege and it's been the best toy line apparently we've had. Well, the trilogy, especially Siege, has been the toy line that has been the best quality in the past several years. I, st I just haven't really understood the uh, price of a certain yellow Transformer that Hasbro thinks they can milk for money. And it will still work, but I'm still mad about it. It doesn't adhere to my personal opinion, therefore it is wrong! Oh! Idiot. Oh, here the boy is with some other mini-bots from Generation 1. And yes, they are all Autobots. Well, technically one isn't from Generation 1, but I don't care. First we got Cliff Jumper. Yeah, same price, definitely makes sense. Then we have the bane of my existence, Netflix Bumblebee, why do you cost so much? He has a machete which resembles the pain he gives me every day. Next we have his fellow season 2 minibot, Beachcomber. I can't remember what other minibots besides Cosmos that were in the show with him. Then we have, for our final comparison, Power of the Prime Slash. Like I said earlier, it's not from Generation 1, but I don't care, it's still a mini What I can say is that that was it for this review. Uh, all I can say is he's not the best figure in Kingdom, but he is pretty good for his deluxe class pricing. And, uh, yeah, my overall score is pretty much 3 out of 5, because he's not bad, but he's also not that good either. However, I have a good feeling about this next review. Maybe my shirt from the last clip. We'll give a little hint. Mind, I'm just gonna open it here. And before you're thinking it's not Beast Megatron, why I still can't find that man. He is no, never anywhere near where I need him to be. And this guy has, in my opinion, some pretty big bestiality. Haha, <laughs> pun. Man, tape is annoying. I can never get it exactly right. So, let's take him out of the box. Eat this boss butt! Eat!